Hey everyone, uh, February Everyday Carry. Let's look at the basics. Uh, I know these videos, um, I'm going to try and do one every month. I think I've got enough rotation and new stuff to do an interesting one every month. As long as I keep it brief, however, I, I understand you may well be watching for the first time because you've done a you know, YouTube search for you know the days or the newest Everyday Carry videos. So, uh, by all means, I'll try and go into as much detail for you guys as well. And by all means, subscribe. I do lots of knife uh, torch and pen videos on this channel and I try to keep it pretty regular. Uh, if you look down, it's been about three years and I've got about 210 videos. So I, I try and be try and be at least a couple a week. Or huge drops of 10 at a time, <laughs> whatever. Cool, so, um, Maxpedition micro wallet, very, very thin bifold wallet. I like to be able to sit on my wallet and anything thicker than that just bothers me a little bit. I've got a bit of a bony bum, you see. So I find my front pockets are full of fun stuff, so my wallet sits at the back. My phone is an iPhone 6S in a life-proof case, currently playing Final Fantasy IX, a port of the PlayStation 1 game that's just come out. It is a really good port. It doesn't use the um, crappy fonts that some of the other ports use, and it is um, just solid, and it's my favorite game of all time. Even if you put all the cheats on, which you can, and just play through it and enjoy the story. Brilliant story, great characters, great main character, great villain, Great supporting cast, very, very cool game. The keys, um, Surefire Titan is one of the tools on the keys. It's a AAA flashlight made by Surefire. It's um, been on them for about a year now, bouncing around, and it's uh, still pretty much bomb proof. Two settings, low and high. Um, the low is about 20 lumens, the high is about 110, 115 lumens or so. It lasts a while, AAA battery, very, very cool. Uncle Bill's Sliver Gripper Tweezers, you've all seen these on all these videos if you're one that watches them regularly. And then a little capsule made by the Best Made Company, a brass capsule, or made for them I suppose is the word, with a little Ondanzatron wafer in there. So you unscrew it, oh, and there it is. It's a little wafer wrapped around on itself, and that's a really good medicine for if you're stuck out somewhere and you feel yourself getting a bit of a crappy tummy or a bit like you're going to vomit. It um, puts all that on hold for a few hours, gives you a bit of time. When you talk about shitting your pants, time is essential. Um, now I'll go into knives and pens and torches. This will be my sort of everyday sort of light use going out in public half here. And this will be my sort of heavy duty, kind of whenever I want to just carry heaps of cool stuff right here. So for basics, I've always got a pen on me and the pen I've been using lately is a Lamy Safari fountain pen. Mine is red. As a review on it a few videos back, medium tip, really, really fun writing with fountain pens and not that hard to pick up. Hard to master, but not hard to pick up and enjoy. And then I usually carry, if the surefire is annoying to get, it's annoying, if you're gonna be using a torch a bit, say if it's at night time and I'm just going out to friends' places and stuff like that, I'll carry a proper torch. I'll carry a um, the Olight S1 baton. Very, very cool, nice and bright. Only thing is it runs on a CR123 battery, which um, definitely isn't my favorite battery because it's um, just a touch rare in Australia to get. So um, yeah, but it's a good torch, magnetic base. I like the Olight look and aesthetic and I like the side, the, um, the side switch, nice easy user interface. Turn it on and then just hold down the button to cycle through your modes. Pretty happy with that. Literally cannot go wrong. Alrighty, knives, well, when I'm going somewhere really, um, you know, where I actually might be taking a knife out with people around and you don't want to bother them, because you're not really supposed to carry knives um, just for everyday utility purpose. You can if you're coming to or from work or that you have a job that requires one, to and from a hobby that requires one. Most people aren't too fussed and it's all about just not upsetting people and not causing them to, I don't know, call the police on you or something. So I'll carry something like this case. Um, this is a mini trapper. Everyone's grandpa carries this knife, and last I checked, grandpas aren't getting hauled through the courts for, for carry, so um, just a little trapper knife like this if I'm actually going to be using it, because you don't want to bother people. You have to understand that not everyone cares about your knife, not everyone thinks knives are cool. We think they're very cool, but um, a knife like that is good for situations where you really don't know who you're going to be seeing. A Swiss Army knife, sorry about the bang there, a Swiss Army knife is also a very good option. Next up, um, one of my knives I really enjoy carrying, because yeah, this is a good knife, but I don't particularly enjoy carrying it as much as other knives, like this Falcon Even U2. Again, a very demure looking knife, um, not much to it, but this one you get a nicer grip, you get a really flash steel, the super gold powder steel. 
Um, nice Nanook opening, it's a locking blade, so a couple of extra features there. Really enjoyable to use, the convex grind just obliterates everything in its path. Very, very cool. Highly recommend Fork Niven U1. And the other one I've gone to, um, to carrying time to time is the Spyderco Dragonfly in ZDP steel. Now you're probably noticing I do like my fancier steels lately. I've sort of been spending a bit more on less knives and this Dragonfly was one of those. Actually came with a shitty edge on it. It came with a chip taken out of it if you want to scale, uh, cycle back and check my video out. But I got it sharpened by a viewer who very generously um, offered to help me out. And now it has a razor laser edge on it, which is great. Lock, little lockback knife in the British Racing Green. That's how you look this one up. British Racing Green is what it'll be called for the ZDP one. At least in Australia, I've noticed for their standard one. They do sprint runs, I'm sure, but that is that. So those are my lighter use or more discreet knives and torches and, and pens. When I'm gonna uh, be going out, perhaps just in my garden, in my shed, when I wanna be writing on wood, like doing proper marking out, I'll be carrying this pen lately. This is the Hardcore Hardware Australia Tactical Pen. Runs a, a Fisher Space Pen ink, which I had to modify a little bit to fit in because I didn't have a Space Pen ink with the block on the back. So I had to cut a block off another ink and put that on the back and because the ink that came with this one didn't work. That was annoying. So that's the pen I'll be carrying. It's a pretty sturdy aluminium pen. Just a nice clip on it, pretty intense. Not gonna come off your overalls or your work pants. Pretty good, good pen there. My torch, um, this is the Olight S30R baton. I'll be doing a review on this at some point. This is, it goes up to a thousand lumens, is rechargeable. Again, like the other Olight, kind of similar aesthetic. Has the um, magnetic base there, see? And um, yeah, just the aluminium construction. Again, same side switch. Sort of like a, just a giant version of this with more lumens, more throw. Rechargeable 18650 with a good charger that doesn't take up space and it plugs into USB. So I'll do a review on this torch at some point. I just noticed there has been a few reviews bouncing around on it lately and I don't want to fatigue everyone with the same reviews because YouTube seems to work that way. Someone will get something and everyone else will guess or buy it and then they'll do their own reviews and I think you like a bit of time for these things to go up and down. That's, that's just how I like it anyway. And my two sort of fun knives that I've been carrying lately Trying to make up my mind which one I like more. I think I'm leaning towards the next one, but the Code 4 has been something that's um, been on my carry. This carries really well. Cold steel pocket clip actually do, being done well by this nice um, aluminium frame here. Goes against the pocket really well. Nice and thin, fairly light uh, CTS XHP blade. Um, feels good in hand, uh, but again, I like the next knife a little bit more already, which is the American Lawman. This is Reminding me a lot of the paramilitary too. It's got the forward choil, it's got the larger handle, the smaller blade, you know, the blade ratio is a bit handle heavy, which is good for me. I like being able to have a nice grip and variable grips as well. Secure in hand, G10, CTS XHP with a um, diamond black coating, diamond like whatever it is, coating that doesn't chip off and wears pretty well. Quite reflective though for a black coating, but be that as it may. Still really enjoying carrying this knife. Both are back lock or triad lock knives. Both come a little bit stiff to be honest. This one's starting to loosen up, but it was quite tough when I first got it. Um, I've just put a little bit of graphite in there and that's made it a bit better. So that is also what I'm carrying. Um, and truth be told, I could get all my other knives out as well, but these are the ones that have seen any form of pocket wear in the last few days and will continue to. The Kershaw Skyline was riding around, but that's uh, finished, I've done its review, and I'm not sure if I'll be revisiting that one particularly soon or not. It's just felt a little bit generic to me, and I prefer these smaller knives or these bigger knives lately, it's kind of how I'm leaning. So that'll be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to these uh, videos and you've just found my channel from this video, please give me a subscribe. Um, I guarantee you will see lots of knife videos if you like knives. A few scattered torch videos, uh, other gear videos, a couple of outdoor adventure videos. So yeah, try a like and see if you like me. And, um, and I'll like you just fine, I'm sure. I'll see you next video yet, dudes.